टूडे लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द मोटर प्रोटेक्शन मोटर प्रोटेक्शन फॉर दिस 160 सिक्सटी किलो वाट मोटर सो दिस इज वन सिक्सटी किलो वाट मोटर नेम प्लेट रेटिंग दिस कंटिन्यूस करेंट दिस फुल लोड करेंट इज टू सिक्सटी वन पॉइंट फाइव एम पी आर सो पर फैक्टर इफिशियंसी लेट्स चेक द इम्पोर्टेंस हियर सिक्स फुल लॉक रोटर करेंट स्टार्टिंग पावर फैक्टर लॉक रोटर पावर फैक्टर इज ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट एट एट एंड दिस इज द लॉक रोटर टॉर्क मैक्सिमम टॉर्क ओके सो व्हाट आर द व्हाट आर द इनपुट्स मोर रिक्वायर्ड वी नीड सम इनपुट्स वी नीड टू गिव सम इनपुट्स गो टू दिस प्रोटेक्शन टैब हियर protection tab here okay here we need to we need to provide the motor acceleration time at 100% motor terminal voltage let's say this is 5 second when the motor terminal voltage is 100% let's say at 80% motor terminal voltage this motor acceleration time is 7 second and at 110 percent voltage let's say this is 4 second okay and this is motor asymmetrical factor i have already discussed about this in a separate video this asymmetrical factor is this one only without asymmetrical factor this will be straight line and because of this asymmetrical factor this this curve will be like this this is the motor starting characteristic curve in the tcc curve i will explain so if you select one that will be straight line only okay i will explain in tcc curve again so in uh, what is the hot thermal instant time let's say this is 12 second and the cold withstand time suppose this is 15 second so these are all for uh, before going to the motor protection okay so let's check at once uh, go to the star star protection i was talking about this okay this asymmetrical factor okay so this asymmetrical factor if i put one you can see this will be straight line yeah this is now straight line okay so this is time current characteristic curve this curve is at 110% voltage motor terminal voltage this is at 80% this is at 110% voltage and this is motor cold withstand curve this is motor hot withstand curve you can put the grid also grid here okay let's keep only at 100% motor terminal voltage okay so this is the motor time current characteristic curve if i go back to this model now let's select the circuit breaker which is protecting this 160 kW motor go to the rating phase as per iec standard i am selecting molded case circuit breaker here because power circuit breaker uh, i will not select this uh, if this is in camera or bus coupler at that time power circuit breaker otherwise molded case circuit breaker it may be the 
power circuit breaker operated motor also for large rating but for 160 kilowatt i think molded case circuit breaker i will uh, consider i can consider so for the circuit breaker and trip device go to the library from here suppose abb make i will select the abb make any one model mm, okay i see abb make 415 volt this one okay hp this is thermal magnetic only no i will select the uh, etu electronic trip unit i have already make a uh, separate video for this you can you can check that one Four hundred amps. Is there any ETU? Yeah, solid state. So let's select this one. No issue. So four hundred amps. I am selecting this one. ABB make solid state. Solid state. Okay. Uh, there are two options: thermal magnetic and solid state. Thermal magnetic. Okay. This one do we have? No. Okay. Let's select this one. So these are the ratings available. Uh, 415 volt minimum minimum delay six millisecond. Here is the making current. This is ultimate braking and service braking, same 70 ka. And here, short time stand is zero. Short time thermal stand is zero. Still, we can use this one. Let's select this circuit breaker along with the motor and I have selected the molded case circuit breaker IC standard from ABB manufacturer this T2S this T2S circuit uh, molded case circuit breaker and here this is the 160 ampere MCCB rating and here is the trip device the solid state trip I have I have selected this solid state thermal magnetic is also available i have selected solid state this says pr221 abb manufacturer 160 ampere rating okay so these are the making current ultimate braking service braking there is no thermal instant capability for this trip and okay here let's go to this trip device page setting page here this is the trip device setting page here you can see this lsi lsi protection feature is there l is long time s is short time and instantaneous i this is just like 51 in a, a relay this is equivalent to 51 long time this is short time and instantaneous equivalent to 50 so the short time is not required yeah now the curve will look like this so we are giving only long time and instantaneous because in case of any in case of any fault in the motor we need to trip the motor instantaneously so instantaneous protection should be there along with that one delayed time delay 
51 or this long time trip component will be there yeah so this is the graph this is the graph you can see this is the motor starting motor starting time current characteristic of motor starting curve and here is the uh, hot and cold motor withstand thermal withstand time and you need to you need to put the protective device setting circuit breaker circuit breaker setting in between these two in between the motor characteristic curve and thermal withstand curve so that your motor cannot trip in case of the motor during during motor starting condition but it should trip below the thermal cold or hot withstand thermal capability curve to avoid the motor damage so this is cb25 let's put the setting here what is the setting abb says tier 2 to 1 sensor 160 okay this lt pickup is 160 160 amps lt band this is 6 second instantaneous pickup pick pickup is 10 basically before putting this and to fine tune it we need to calculate first we need to calculate first manually not just by dragging this curve left and right or to adjust as a power system protection engineer we should calculate first manually and we should understand the band this is the this is the circuit breaker uh, circuit breaker uh, minimum band and this is the this is the maximum band with the margin and safety factors with the help of this we need to calculate first manually and after that we need to put these values in the circuit breaker page long time instantaneous these values we need to put and after that we need to set this uh, we need to set this uh, protection curve so in upcoming videos i will do the manual calculation as well along with the TCC car plotting.